have you started leveraging AI to market your own apps now? There are some tools actually, like App Follow or some other tools, I figure those sorts of tools, like they automatically suggest some AI keywords to you. Once I have the list of keywords, I have kind of built a system using ChatGPT from these 200, 300 keywords, filter me out like 50 keywords that are most relevant to my app. So mm-hmm. I give ChatGPT my app link and then I give ChatGPT the keyword list and then I call the API and then it, it gives me a list of 30 to 50 relevant keywords. And then my tool also adds those keywords like comma separated, like make a title, make a subtitle, and then comma separated, and then make like 100 character lists. I have been also using it for review. So what happens is I have connected to Apple's review API, and then I get all the reviews from... All these uh, responses? I don't even know <laughs> which day it was posted. I have a scheduler in my server, so it pulls all the reviews from the Apple server, and then it, like, send it to chat. That one writes the review. So wow. and then it posts, it's also posted on the App Store, so I don't even have to post, like, manually oh. post. It, it, it can do a lot of things. Like, if you've seen, like, a Portuguese, like, a different link, language, like, non-English oh. language, it can figure out a response. Initially, it was responding, like, okay, sure, you're having this bad experience. Just uh, contact us, and we'll give you a refund. So we had to modify the API a little bit so that it doesn't say that I'm going to give a refund. <laughs> Are you like putting a week in where you're like constantly looking at the responses and then being like, okay, this feels good. When do you let the machine just go? I collected some samples from the app store and then tried with positive, negative, like I said, English, non-English. I tried with like, I think more than hundred reviews. And then once okay. I was satisfied after that, I let it go like. But it's still, I monitor like every like two days or so. David says, hey, what do you think about buying reviews? I found out that my competitor buys it. Depends on the size of your app or like at what stage you are. Like if you have nothing to lose, like you can try so many things. If you're at a stage, you have already have user base revenue. I don't recommend it. Luis says, does Apple approve that, the AI to reply to reviews? I don't see anything against TOS. Uh, what is against TOS? Because the API is approved from Apple. So I'm getting the API from Apple. So one thing is like you have to actually design the prompt for the chat GPT to get the answer. What about the conversion rate optimization side of things? How are you using AI for that? Every app is different. If you have two similar kind of apps, the same keyword might convert differently for these two apps, right? Because mm-hmm. your title is different, your screenshot is different, your features are different, right? everything is different. So I think it, it, it helps more at the beginning, like when you're selecting the keywords. But a, as you go through later stages, you just have to monitor yourself. It's not more of an AI, it's, just, it's more of a manual thing, like to figure out which keywords are converting more for my app specifically i get let's say 100 keyword from yeah. asa2 apollo. right yep let's say apollo for example yep yeah let's go to app follow then you can copy actually the all the keywords i pick meditation and then click here so my process is add the app in the let's say in app follow okay and then track like 200 keywords okay this, and then copy all these 200 keywords okay so i'll add it then let's, okay. let's add hit space tell me where to go um, here, the keyword section for the keyword section right here. Keyword tracking. Yes, yeah. I guess I have 290 in here that I need to delete. Yeah, I think um, these are just keywords, right? From the they have an AI section. Are you on, like, are you on the paid version or just the free yeah, version? I'm the paid version, yeah. Okay, but here I got some keywords now. I got some keyword, right? So you can just copy yeah. these keywords, all these keywords. Uh, there's a check mark at the top. Yeah. Come. Copy. Yeah. Or if you go to select all, I think it will copy more. So you have like, I think, how many, like more than 50 keywords? No, copy. Yep, right here. 200. 200, yeah, right. So so now how are you going to like shortlist this keyword? So that's where I use the chat GPT, like give this list to chat GPT. I find uh, 30, find the... 30 most, right. most relevant keywords from this list. Then just paste the list and see what happens. Boom. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's interesting. I and like then if you're doing the API, like you can automate it. Like, yeah, just download the keyword list from the app follow as an Excel or CSV and mm-hmm. then give that list as a list, like the same thing with the prompt, but in the API, then it'll just give you the list, shortlisted list, and then you can write code to make a title, subtitle, and then comma separated keyword list. You can do that. Half Light says, Do you buy any ads for your apps, like ASA or anything else? You got Tengen now? 
attribution platform. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, I do Apple search ads. I use Apple search ads a lot to figure out the conversion, like which keyword is converting me better. A third, Apple search ads, drive downloads, but obviously which keywords are converting better. When you say converting, is it just tap to install or install to actual revenue too? Uh, yeah, definitely. If some keyword is giving me, like bringing me revenue, I try to focus on that more. Uh, I also try to focus on keywords that has conversion rate like more than 80%. Mm. I have a lot of keyword converting at 100% conversion rate. So, wow. Yeah. I How many taps that. though? Like, do you look at like oh, so yeah, minimum? So that's the thing. Like, um, sometimes the conversion rate is very high, but tap is very low, or the tap through rate, the TTR mm -hmm. is also low sometimes. So, that's where like my AI or my own tool helps me. Like, to sort them, like figure out, okay, I have five keywords, which has 100% conversion rate, but which keyword has like, let's say 10% TTR. Some keyword has, let's say 2% TTR, but another one has more than 10% TTR. So I focus more on those. So it's kind mm. of like conversion rate plus TTR and then plus revenue. If you have revenue, that's even better, like plus revenue. Are you using Tengen to track the revenue by keyword? Yeah. So I have two platform, the conversion, Q1 version, and then mm -hmm. both. Both are actually helping with the revenue tracking. Oh, wow. So con does conversion give you that data from Apple search ads all the way to... Uh, Tengen has an API, but conversion doesn't have an API. So I actually have built a, like a dashboard where I have all this data coming from different platforms, like Tengen and then Apple search ad. And then, like I said, the chat GPT, everything like coming to right. my dashboard, search ads, Apple search ads, and then helping me figuring out like which keyword is bringing me revenue, which keyword has most re like conversion rate, those sorts of things. And then I can focus on some specific set of keywords that I can like add in title or something like that. Yeah, that's interesting. So here, this is conversion.io with the Q and then yeah. Tengen. Are you on the free plan or the paid plan? I know they have the free I plan. I am on the free, I'm the free, so. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah but uh, like I said, like you don't have to use Tengen, like there are, I think, Apps Flyer, or some other tools, right? The same thing, the same kind of thing they do. Yep. Uh, yeah. And then for conversion as well, like you can use Adapti or Revenue Cat. Mm -hmm. So all, all the, all the sites do the same thing. George asks, can we know the revenue that came from a specific keyword? So, you know, the revenue. Yeah. 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 Keyword. You can, we can know that using Tenjin or you can also use conversion. Like they have an uh, integration with search ads. So you can, you can actually know like how much you're get, actually getting, like, like not assuming uh, like this is the, this is the keyword that brought me the revenue, that subscription, but you don't know actually how long this user is going to be subscribed. But conversion, I think, gives you that data, like how long this is a user is actually subscribed for how many weeks or how many months, and then how much this keyword is actually bringing you revenue. These tools have this uh, technology.